Hey everybody and welcome to episode 253 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on September 3rd, 2015. Oh, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. What is it? When the cats are away, the mice will play? Oh, and I did play. You did play. <laughs> Did everybody notice the high production value that went into the two episodes that Ricky <laughs> barely uh, Ricky did solo while I was away on vacation, a much needed vacation, might I add. But I noticed like you thrown all kinds of effects in there. <laughs> I think you contacted. I think you contacted uh, Industrial Light Magic in the Weta Workshop. Shoot. You had them like. Uh, produce some out a little. some mock-ups for you I and some, some visual calls. effects and Steven Spielberg. I was like, yo. I like some people said to me that there was more stuff going on in the last couple episodes of Unboxing Wednesdays than all of the visual effects uh, in the last Tron movie. So it's true. It was. Anyways, things are back to normal. I'm back. Everybody can stop worrying. Got a lot of got a lot of messages while I was gone, Ricky. People were worried. No, they weren't. Nobody, nobody Ouch. said anything. Ouch. Big weekend coming up. Uh, if you're in the if you're in the Toronto area, if you're in Ontario, if you're in the country of Canada, if you're within a uh, you know reasonable drive to the country of Canada, uh, Fan Expo, our largest comic convention, uh, going on this weekend. And uh, Ricky, you're gonna be there. I am gonna be there. What's your table? Do you know your table uh, number? A two one six. A two one six. Guess what we have? What have you got? The collected edition of Black Hole Hunters Club Volume One. Volume One, the trade paperback. Guess, Moving up in the world. Guess what it's called? What's that? Papa don't preach. Papa don't preach. I like that. <laughs> How many issues yeah. does this uh, collect? So it's six issues. Wow. Uh, all the covers and uh, pinups from some people. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'm super excited. It looks so good. I held it in my hands and I weeped. After, now, this is going to be a show premiere. After the show, are people going to be able to buy it from your store online? Yeah, for sure. We're going to have it on the store. All right. Uh, I don't know when it'll be up. If we sell it at Fan Expo, hopefully, and then it might take a little bit to reprint it. but. Awesome. Well, there, if you want to guarantee yourself a first printing of Black Hole Hunters Club, get on down to Fan Expo and head to table A16. There's not going to be much difference between first printing and second printing, so <laughs> it's not really going to matter. What are you talking about, man? The first printings, those are worth all the money. That's true. That's yeah. true. All right, everybody, enough chit chat. Ricky, go ahead and open up some boxes. I, <laughs> I know I just said enough chit chat, but I didn't really mean it. Uh, so while Ricky's putting all the stuff away, I want to just remind everybody that you have about two and a half days to get in on uh, the August Comic Boxer shipment. The cutoff is usually around the 4th or 5th, so uh, please get your orders in to be a part of it. Uh, it's going to be a great month. I can't wait for everybody to see what we have in store. And check out our latest unboxing of last month's Comic Boxer, which uh, I should have posted a while ago, but I just posted yesterday. So, uh, check that out. Alright, let's start off with some collectibles. We got a uh, cute little Harley Quinn plush toy. From Mortal Kombat, we've got these previews exclusive Mortal Kombat figures, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. We've got some Minions Pops, I Matey and O Natural. We also have Crow Minion. We have Locus of Borg. From Hanna-Barbera, we have Secret Squirrel. And from Orphan Black, we have Rachel Duncan. From Arrow, we have Black Canary, and from The Flash, we have Captain Cold. From Orange is the New Black, we've got Piper Chapman. This is awesome. From Game of Thrones, we have Viserion. The new Dorbs line of vinyl toys is out today, and we've got a bunch of Marvel heavy hitters, such as Captain America and Ghost Rider, Deadpool, and Wolverine, Beast, and Iron Man. From Breaking Bad, we have Saul Goodman from Better Call Saul as well and this is an awesome figure exclusive to previews you won't be able to find this uh, at Toys R Us or anything like that it's got, a, it's got a Saul Goodman business card inside as well as a copy of the Constitution of America and a bag full of money we have a classic Superman Superpowers 110 scale artifacts plus statue 
Supergirl from the Superman animated series gets uh, her own femme fatale statue. And we've got a Zatanna Bishoujo statue from Kotobukiya. Very cool. Moving on to the collected editions. We have Wonder Woman Volume 7 in hardcover. This is where uh, Meredith and David Finch take over the book. Then we have Lady Killer from Dark Horse Comics. Insanely popular first issue for this book. If you have it, it is worth some money. It's by the also insanely talented Joelle Jones. All the Mad Max prequel books for Fury Road are collected in here. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road, uh, the graphic novel from Vertigo. Just in time to, ju uh, to jump on the movie hype train, we've got uh, Volume 1 of Classic Suicide Squad here. Uh, this uh, features the uh, 80 stories for Suicide Squad. Right on to the smaller press books, we have Danger Girl number 1 from IDW. This is a new miniseries entitled Renegade. J. Scott Campbell on the covers for this book. And here's the black and white variant. Transformers, More Than Meets the Eye, number 44, has these two regular covers. And this variant cover by our good friend Agnes Garbowska. Bob's Burgers, number three. Casanova Acidia, I think that's how you say it, number four. Barb Wire, number three, rocking it with another Adam Hughes cover. Poseidon 9, number one. Lazarus, number 19. Jupiter Circle, number six. Angel and Faith, number 18. This Damn Band, number two of six from Dark Horse. Eight House, number three by Brandon Graham. Toil and Trouble, number one of six, new from Archaea today. Gem and the Holograms, number six, has these two covers. One that I'm really looking forward to today is the new Image Comics title from Jeff Lemire doing the writing and Emmy Lennox doing the art, and it is Plutona. And then of course, our favorite book up here in Canada of late, we Stand on Guard, issue number three. It's like Alpha Flight for a new generation, except they don't have powers, and uh, they're in the future. All right, from DC Comics, we have Mortal Kombat X, issue number 10. We've got Flash, season zero, number 12. Green Lantern, 44. Some hints in the advertising for the upcoming season of Arrow. We might see Hal Jordan in the upcoming season. Here is the Green Lantern variant for Green Lantern number 44. Injustice Gods Among Us number 9. DC Comics Bombshells issue number 2. Green Arrow number 44. Here is the Green Lantern variant for Green Arrow and this is by Neil Adams. Midnighter number 4. Lobo number 10 part of the Sinestro Rising storyline. Batman Beyond, number four. Here's the Green Lantern variant for that book. We've got Batman Arkham Knight, number eight. And Detective Comics, number 44. We've got a Detective Comics blank cover today. And a stunning uh, Detective Comics retro-styled Green Lantern variant uh, by the amazing Cliff Chang. Moving on to Marvel, we've got two awesome $1 issues available to you today. Uh, we've got Captain Marvel, issue number one, and Spider-Gwen, number one. On to the new books, we've got Stephen King's Dark Tower Drawing of the Three, Lady of Shadows, number one. Figment 2, issue number one. Squadron Sinister, number three. Star-Lord and Kitty Pride, number three. Battleworld, Age of Ultron vs. Marvel Zombies, number four. We've got Thor's, number three. And here's the manga variant for Thor's, number three. Hail Hydra, issue number two. Last Days of Silver Surfer, number 14. Last Days of Silk, number seven. And here is the Silk manga variant. Groot, number four. Spider Island, number three. Here's the Spider Island variant. Future Imperfect, number five. Mockingbird, number one, uh, celebrating 50 years of S.H.I.E.L.D. This book comes with the debut of a new hero called the Red Widow. Here is the variant cover for that book. It is a shield action figure variant for Phil Coulson. You can see the, the Build-A-Figure here is Deathlock. Age of Apocalypse number three, House of M number two. Here's the House of M variant. Then finally we have Deadpool versus Thanos number one. Uh, this is going to be a funny book. I'm betting uh, two of Marvel's most famous 
uh, I guess, up upcoming movie characters in that you've got uh, Deadpool coming out with his movie and you've got Thanos, of course, is going to be part of the whole Infinity Gauntlet saga coming out for Marvel. Um, so a natural pairing, I would, I would guess. We've got a variant book for that one as well. It is a Deadpool versus Thanos Retailer Summit variant. The Diamond Comics Retailer Summit, which hasn't happened yet. It's in uh, Baltimore uh, at the end of September. But we've got the Retailer Summit exclusive here. There's also this variant cover here, which is available as well. Newest fashion statement here. Check it out. Check it out. Would you guys still take me serious if I had a comb stuck in my beard the whole time? I think you would. Yeah, let's do this. It stays in there pretty good. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> so last week, let me get this out of here. Last week we asked you guys how the Suicide Squad movie will end to win a copy of the Harley Quinn bombshell variant. Uh, and we got some pretty awesome answers. Uh, Kane Garcia said Suicide Squad ends with me saying to Kevin, I'm not going to kill you, I'm just going to hurt you really, really bad. That's why he's missing, but if I win the comic, I let him return to the show. Well, joke's on you, dude. He's already back to the show, so you don't win. <laughs> no. We don't talk to terrorists, so your demands are going on deaf ears. Ken Ives said it will end like the Wizard of Oz. Harley Quinn will wake up in black and white surrounded by her family and friends. She will notice that they resemble the characters from her dream. I would enjoy that ending. It'd be like very, uh, very meta, you know? Maybe she's like a comic book writer or something writing that story. Churches is for Animals said Suicide Squad will end with Stadium Comics making a lot of money from the nerds and new comic geeks who get influenced into the whole comic scene. Don't tell me this isn't true. I dare you not to give me the prize. LOL. Well, sorry. You're not getting the prize, so dare accepted. And, uh, and we probably will make some pretty sweet cash off of these nerds. You know, nerds, easy, easy cash right there. Now, a lot of people come in and we try to help them and expand their comic book knowledge uh, because geeks are all welcome here. We really want to expand geek culture. That is our one mission here. Isaiah Desvariex, sorry if I said your last name wrong, said, Ayo hey, Ricky, give me a shout out, bro. So, holler, uh, Isaiah Desrezik, Des, I'm gonna call you Isaiah, sorry. Holler at your boy, Ayo, hey, it's Ricky Lima, hollering at Isaiah. But the winner goes to uh, the R Danny 1982, who says many things happen at the end of Suicide Squad. First, Killer Croc throws a rock at Batman, because that's what he does. Uh, second, Amanda Waller gets killed by Deadshot, or did she? And the last thing, the only character from the Suicide Squad who dies is Katana, because she holds the line by herself while the squad escapes from the army, chasing them in the end. Give her an ultimate fight sequence uh, to kill all the army men. This one won because it's most likely what will happen at the end of Suicide Squad. I mean, I can't picture it any other way. Like, really, what's going to happen? I don't know. This, clearly, because this is the most badass. So congratulations, our Danny1982. You win a copy of the Harley Quinn bombshell cover. All right, so this week what we're giving out is Deadpool versus Thanos number one. Ooh. Now, the question for this week is pretty straightforward. They're basically giving us the question, who would win between Deadpool and Thanos? Bonus points for a hilarious story uh, attached to your comic, because who doesn't like to laugh? Um, personally, I think that Thanos is gonna win, mainly because he's my favorite, and Thanos is just that badass. He's probably gonna crush Deadpool's skull and throw him off into space for all eternity. And then Deadpool finds some convoluted way to come back. But in the meantime, Thanos will win. Let us know in the comments who you think will win between Thanos and Deadpool. And the winner will win a copy of Deadpool versus Thanos number one. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, please do stop by Ricky's table at Fan Expo if you are going. See if he's stuck to the whole comb in the beard thing. 
I think is ridiculous, but... It was a new fashion, man. If it helps you it. sell books, man, you go right ahead. Everybody's got to have their gimmick, right? Yeah. Comic Boxer, check out our Comic Boxer video we just posted. Check out uh, August Comic Boxer. Uh, only a couple days left to sign up for that. Store.stadiumcomics.com. Lots of awesome collector packs available on there right now. I've got five spots left for the hip hop covers. Only five spots left uh, that I can pre sell for the October hip hop covers. So please check that out. Can we also talk about Jamal Price Campbell and his webcomic? Can we, can we share Sure, that? man. Jamal Price Campbell is a great friend uh, to our store. Uh, yeah. Are you going to like put a picture up of, oh, of what he's doing? Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's so good. It's called The Immortal Nadia. So you can check it out at immortalnadia.tumblr.com. And it's like a webcomic right now. Nice. Oh. Well, maybe one day it'll make its way into print as well. Yeah. Jamal's uh, got the goods, that's well, for sure. He did all those uh, Spider-Man Captain America that's right. covers. Yeah. That Came out a couple of months yeah, ago. Yeah, one of them was in Comic Boxer. There yeah, we signed, it was signed right? Comic Boxer. So, yeah. There you go. Um, remember to connect with us using any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. Uh, and uh, please pay attention to our friend Louis' podcast recap. We get you caught up in everything going on in the world of comics. And we will see all of you guys next week for episode 254 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your comics this week. <laughs>